here's a question for you. Could you ever forgive your partner kissing somebody else? Depends where they kissed them, I suppose. <laughs> where they kissed them? <laughs> what, location-wise or bodily-wise? Oh, no, never mind, never mind, let it go. <laughs> Well, listen, this all started because um, a woman went on to Mumsnet, their forum, to ask them some advice because she said her husband had gone on a night out, yeah. OK, uh, with work colleagues, and then he texted her, which I thought was a bit odd, this bit, he texted her saying, I've kissed somebody, I've kissed a colleague, well, I'm coming home, a female well, why colleague. would you do that? Why would you do the that? The only reason you'd do that as a bloke is if there was photographic evidence. Someone's seen you. If that you were was caught, my, that was on my camera. point. Yeah. I mean, why would you do that? Well, listen, he held his hands up. I he told the you. truth. He says that it was nothing more than a harmless mistake. It was a mistake, darling. But I meant it to raised... kiss her on the cheek yeah. and my, I just went... My tongue straight... accidentally popped in her mouth. Yeah. Oops. Oh, dear. Yes, yes. well, the question is, is one kiss too many? We're joined now by Julia Keyes and Danielle Lloyd, uh, who have very different opinions on this. Danielle, would you ever forgive that kiss? No. Why not? I just think it leads... A kiss would lead to more, and whatever the excuse is, you know, however drunk you are, I just don't think that, you know, it's not... You, you've done it, you've gone out there and you've done it, and I don't think that there's any excuse for that. What constitutes a kiss? Like, there's a peck... <laughs> We're well, if you've kissed someone here, on the right? cheek, then... Right, no, forget, we're talking no. lip action here, right? Yeah, we're right. talking snogging, really. Yeah. And mm. how long must that kiss go on for it to cross the line? Well, if it's a, you know, French kiss with tongues, it, that's cheating in my eyes, and it would be in my partner's as well. So more than five seconds would be... Yes, no five goals. seconds. What do you make of the fact that this husband text home and said, I've kissed somebody, Obviously, I'm coming he, home. he's done that out of guilt, but it still doesn't make it right that he's admitted it. He probably knew that he was going to get found out, so... What do you reckon, Julia? Did he know? Was he, did he think, oh, someone's seen me or someone's taken a mm. picture, I'm going to have to get in before they do? Well, it did cross my mind that that might be the case. Um, but my understanding is that she sent him a text first and said, I you hope know, you're having a lovely time and I love you, and on the back of that, he sent oh. her a text. So, either way, there was a guilty response. And many, many times I've sat with people who would say, that's it, after a kiss or a snoggy mm. kiss, that's the end of our relationship, and yet someone else could forgive somebody if they had sex with them. So it very much depends on the individuals involved. And I think it's, it really does come down to that. The circumstances, their relationship, and how did this all come about? Why did it come about? But the one thing I do think it creates, and that is an opportunity for them to, the, the couple, to really talk about what's going on for them right now. And I think the well, biggest... Because you'd say, well, if you've kissed someone, there must be something wrong with your relationship. Therefore, if he's done that, then you need to talk about why he felt the need to do that, rather than just saying, that was wrong, get out. Yes, I do. I, I think that if you respond with a knee-jerk reaction, and usually if you knee-jerk something, you've got high emotion behind it, you may regret that response. So my, I, I would say, look, I know you're hugely hurt and forever the trust will be broken, but it's between you two that you try and sort this out. The what about thing, if Daniel, drink, what trust. about if alcohol's involved? Does that mm. get you a get-out-of-jail no, card? No, alcohol should not matter because subconsciously, if you've drank and then that subconscious there is still f making you kiss someone else, it's... You, I'd never be able to... You could forgive, but you couldn't forget, and that would be my problem. Do you ever think of kissing someone else? <laughs> <laughs> Only you, Hayden. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got you see, she'll be, she'll be see, fighting for it. Everybody, <laughs> you know, everybody, you might look at people and everybody just might think, oh, that, she looks nice, he looks nice. Yeah, but there's thinking it and there's actually going through with it and I just think it's, it's, it is unforgivable. See, I, I think, Julia, that a, people say, oh, well, it's just a kiss. Mm. To me, kissing, like proper kissing, mm. not just, oh, hello, nice to see you, proper kissing is very, very intimate. Yes. It is intimate. Yes. So, I, if he said to me he'd properly kiss somebody, I would have a massive problem with that. You would only have a massive intimate. problem because you know I'm very good at it. He is a very good kisser. It's very true. No, it's true. It's very true. Laura, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, well, like, look, Laura's getting all But, you see, the thing about now. you is, unlike what Julia's saying, people can forgive worse than that, but you're saying if a kiss, if an indiscretion happens like that, again, you couldn't, think, well, you couldn't let it go. Personally, it's down to, obviously, 
the, how that person feels. If you are a very insecure person, you might feel like you've got to get over it because you've got to stay with that person because mm -hmm. you're not good enough. Now, in my situation, I feel like I've got a lot of self-respect and I'd have to walk away. I mean, have you accepted behaviour like that in the past and kind of regretted it? Um, no, mm -hmm. I haven't. I've stood my ground and walked away. I think yeah. that you've got to. I think also that when it comes to the person themselves who makes that decision whether or not to give somebody another chance or to you know, have a chat about it and try and work through it, is whether or not that person could be really true to themselves and say, can I really get over the lack of trust? Because that's going to mm, be the yeah. biggest thing they're going to have to do.